Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel for another VR guys and uh, yeah I'm finding it quite hard to catch up with all these but I'm doing it slowly. Um, this time guys a fantastic one because it's one that I uh, yeah hold very dear to my heart. It's my favourite genre of everything. It's by Geordie Slasher Gaming guys. He put it out there. Mark the fantastic fantastic channel guys Geordie Slasher Gaming. If you haven't seen it already check it out. It'll be linked below. Yeah Mark is a fantastic guy and he set a brilliant question guys for the uh, community challenge and it's what is horror? Now I've watched lots of people's responses to this and I agree with quite a lot of it to be honest. Um, but my take on it, and bearing in mind, horror has always been my favourite genre of everything, whether it's games, films, and books, whatever, guys, it's my favourite genre. I absolutely adore anything horror. Now, what is horror? Well, that's quite an open-ended question, really, isn't it? To me, guys, horror has to be something... That horrifies you, basically, hasn't it? Now, it could be a lot of things, couldn't it? It could literally be that gory, scary film, game. Um, but it could also be more psychological, couldn't it? There's been a lot of films in the past, guys, where, you know, it's more a thing of the psychological horror of it. Yet it is still very horrific. And I tell you what, in some ways it can be more horrific than any bloody gory, out of the world, batshit crazy film or game, because it could be very realistic. Now, if you think about films that have a serial killer in them, for instance, you know, um, that can be very realistic, can't it? And there's been a lot of films like that, guys where it's so psychological and scary because it could possibly happen. And I think that is one of the things that makes it horrific and a horror. Um, because, you know, you, you can literally watch that, play that game, whatever, and then lie there in bed that night thinking, oh my God, that could actually happen. Um, Whereas the other side, the other coin of horror to me, is uh, basically the uh, the unknown. That is the other coin side, if you like, the side of the coin. Um, where it's things that we really don't know whether it's real or not. Um, again, uh, a bit like Matt Yorkshire Man 66's uh, series where he's doing the unexplained and all that. You know, It's that side of it where it could possibly be true. But we can't be 100%. So again, guys, you know, horror games and horror films and what have you, where, uh, you know, you've got ghosts in it, for instance. That can be quite horrific. And a lot of it is down, especially in films and games, is down to the, uh, the visual, isn't it? How scary the visuals can be. That they make you jump like crap, you know. That, to me, is horror, horrific, you know. Games like Silent Hill, for instance, are more horrific to me, even though they're not as gory, than Resident Evil, for instance. Resident Evil, to me, is more action than anything else. Yeah, you see some pretty gory scenes and some pretty frightening things, but is it really horror? It doesn't horrify me, guys. Whereas something like Silent Hill or Eternal Darkness, um, any of these more subtle type horror games guys where they unnerve you more than anything else and into that you can also put things like manhunt because again it makes you jump it unnerves you manhunt because again that is something that could possibly happen silent hill and what have you because of the unknown um yeah so i think horror is basically two sides of a coin guys because You've got the, well, some people will call it unrealistic, but you've got the unprovable horror. And then you have the thing that could be batshit crazy and happen. It's possible, guys. It could happen. Now, I also love horror books, as I said. And to me, to get a good horror book, it's the way the story's told, guys. Now, 
my two absolute favourite horror writers of all time is Clive Barker and the absolutely oh, fantastic James Herbert, who sadly passed away, of course. Um, the way they tell a story, guys, is fantastic. I and mean, that's sometimes what makes it so horrific, is the way that they're describing it. And I find it incredible when they get it just right, that you're reading a book and you're like looking around and you're thinking, oh, dear me. Another one who I absolutely love, Stephen King. He is the master of that. He can really, really, just the way he tells it, guys, makes it absolutely horrific sometimes. So again, it's um, the storytelling aspect of it, especially in books, you know, wow. That is what makes a good bloody horror. And it, again, it can be very realistic with things that could possibly happen. It could be things that are on the verge of, is it real, is it not? So yeah, to me, that is what horror is, guys. And it's more so than, you know, um, you know, you get these games where it's like a war. I, I don't consider, yeah, it's horrific. But I don't consider it horror in the right sense, guys. You know, um, in the sense that we're thinking here. Now, if you would have gone into... A video shop. I know somebody else mentioned this as well. That if you went into a video shop back, particularly in the you know the eighties and the nineties, you would find things like horror. Uh, you would find zombie games in that section. You know, zombie films. Sorry, in that section. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, guys. I mean, it's, it's again, it's a bit on the verge of. Is it really that scary? I mean, they're considered a, a genre of horror. Especially when you think of the very early ones, the Romero ones and what have you. And yet, it depends how they flow sometimes. Because the horror of it could be more how they come about, these zombies. The story behind it, you know. Um, I mean, I absolutely adore The Walking Dead. But to me, the horror of that is more so than The Walkers. It's the people sometimes. Like, you know, like some of the big evils in... The Walking Dead, a human, which is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Um, you know, it, it really is incredible. It's not the zombies, guys. They are pretty straightforward. You kill them, chop their heads off, whatever. It's, oh, it's, it's the human element that makes it so scary. Like the bloody, uh, you know, the, uh, the place where they all went to where they thought they were going to find salvation, you know, the, and really, they were they were tricking people into going there so that they could chop them up and eat them. So yeah, yeah, Negan. I mean, Negan. Come on, the governor. They're all human, and they are the horrific ones. They're the ones that make it a horror, and um, more so than the bloody zombies. So yeah, to me, horror guys is a double-sided coin, and like all good coins are, of course, they're all double-sided, aren't they? And um, you've got the horror. Of, you know, batshit crazy can happen. You know, you lie there afterwards in bed and you're thinking, oh my God, it's going to come and get me because it could happen. And then there is the horror of, uh, you know, the unknown or even they're just out of there, guys. That's not physically possible, really. Um, that has a horror element to it as well, but it's the way it flows and runs that makes it horror to me. And then, of course, at the end of the day, guys, you've got another side, haven't you, to it all? And that is uh, real life, downright happening horror. There is horror out there, guys, happening every single day. If you're a big fan of true crime like I am, I tell you what, there's nothing more horrific than humans as a species. We can be... The most amazing and brilliant species but we can also be the most horrific species so sometimes watching documentaries on serial killers and things like that you know that can be just as horrific because you just can't believe that these people exist and it horrifies you makes you scared for your children that these people are out there so there's that side of it as well so yeah there you go guys i mean that is a very long-winded explanation of what horror is to me but 
there's so many ways to approach it. So, uh, yeah, I hope it makes some kind of sense to you what I'm trying to explain here. And if not, comment below and tell me I'm an umpty. That's absolutely fine too, as horrific as that might be. Um, yeah, but there we go, guys. That is my VR to Jolly Slasher Gaming. And I've probably completely confused people with it. <laughs> but there you go, guys. Um, that leaves me done and dusted with another VR. I'm catching up slowly here. Sorry about that, guys. My camera went dead right on me finishing it. Oh, dear me. But anyway, guys, as I was about to say, oh, dear me. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, guys, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications. And with that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'm going to say, I'll be the same. Cheers. And goodbye, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.